pretty well there. I mean, you're patented here for double play ball. Did you ever experience double play like that before? Uh, never, never. Um, but it's funny. This is the second time that I've had first and third, nobody out, and it's been against the Cubs, and both times we got out of it. So familiar territory, I guess. You know, we talk a lot about trust in the defense and when you pitch to contact and when the guys behind you have you. Just how it, it doesn't really seem to matter where the ball goes, but the defense has been able to pick you up consistently each time. How much trust do you have? Oh, I mean, complete trust. For me, being a sinker ball guy, obviously, it's, it's pitching to contact. But, I mean, time and time again, they've they've always come up big behind me, real big. Uh, and then even when they make routine plays, it's because they make it look so easy. You know, most of the time it's very hard, difficult plays. But for me, it's uh, I know all I need to do is just wait for Molina to put down a sinker, and I'm throwing it. So. Awesome for me, TJ. When you're watching all of that unfold, What's going through your mind? I know it might be hard to pinpoint it exactly, but when all is said and done, what was your reaction? Well, it's just obviously ex- excitement. Um, I was very, very excited, thrilled. Uh, it- it's funny because going into that pitch, obviously I'm throwing a sinker to a lefty. Percentage-wise, I'm going to get a ground ball or I'm hoping to get one. And as soon as he does get one, I'm like, okay, at least we'll get one out. And then when that all unfolded, it just, I, you know, I can't explain it. Uh, I'm glad. I'm glad the focus was on everyone else on the field because I'm pretty sure I was spinning around in circles on the field. I'm not even sure. <laughs> Thank you, Derek Gold, St. Louis Post Dispatch. He just kind of answered my question, CJ. I wondered if you were tracking it in your head, like that guy's supposed to be there. <laughs> There. <laughs> yeah, I was I was the one positioning everybody. I definitely wasn't involved. I don't I don't think they wanted me involved in that rundown at all. How often have you seen a double play involved in center field? Not a lot. Not a whole lot. Uh, I saw Bader when, when we came into the dugout, and I was like, "How did you even find your way into that rundown?" It was it was amazing. I, I want to ask you one other quick question. Um, when you joined this team, kind of in the midst of their, I guess identity search, for lack of a better word, for you to come in at that time and maybe not knowing how they got to that point, what has this been like for you to see it all come together? Uh, it's a great question, or a great question there. I, obviously, I, I wasn't here the first half of the season. Uh, I only saw, you know, what I've been seeing for the past couple of months. Um, but coming in, I, I knew Goldschmidt was here. I knew Arenado was here. Wayne Wright's still thrown. You know, I knew all of these guys were here. And obviously a lot of the younger talent. So you knew it was there. It was just a matter of when it was all going to click. And, and right now we're all clicking. So, uh, you know, when one aspect of the team isn't isn't pulling its weight, someone else is, is picking up the slack. And, that, and that's the recipe for a successful team. Thank you, TJ. Zach Silver, MLB.com. Hey, CJ, kind of a bouncer and up. I mean, knowing the Cardinals' defense is just a bread and butter over the years, you've seen it kind of operate from afar, but to kind of see it up close in person, what does it surprise you about just the attention and detail of the guys behind you have? I mean, there's got to be a lot of trust involved in, in throwing your sinker and knowing that they're going to turn that play. What, what does this impress you about how this team specifically goes about its, its way on defense? Well, it's just a professionalism, right? It, it's, it's every time a ball's in play, everyone expects to make it, and when they don't, you could tell that they're upset and, and it's not it's not an, a frustration where it you know carries over to the next pitch it's just like shoot should have had that ball I'm gonna get the next one and every every time they, they come back and make a play um, I mean obviously the work ethic is goes without saying all these guys work incredibly hard to be able to do that and and it shows I, I think we're one of the best defensive teams in the league right now Thanks, man.